uh, I think 341. So uh, 11 minutes already we have uh, wait because uh, because uh, of our attendees uh, because some issue of electricity and others. So today I am now starting my uh, thank you to my and all others. Uh, Okay. Good afternoon and thank you all of you to join this uh, seminar. Uh, basically, uh, we have already started our day, uh, course two, network planning and design, campus network. Yesterday we have completed uh, We have completed day one, uh, now to uh, day two. So network planning and design campus network. Yesterday, uh, Orpita Haladar has already explained uh, about the campus network, some issue about the concept, about the theoretical concept, and also some, uh, she shows, shows some hardware and also some logical topology. So today our target is to design the same hardware uh, base that she shows but today we want to see how we can design uh, the campus network through network simulator. So this is our main task. So today course, can, course content day two, basically the main task is to design the campus network for packet tracer. But firstly recap day one lecture, uh, brief about the packet tracer. Those who are not familiar with packet tracer, I think uh, about the poll, most of them familiar with packet tracer, some are still now uh, not yet familiar, and also some are already using the, this packet tracer. So hopefully uh, you can enjoy this uh, uh, two-day campus network design in uh, uh, packet tracer tools. And secondly, campus network design topology. Uh, then finally, we will uh, design the campus network design for packet tracer. We will firstly design the ISP network design then core network design, basically three uh, three layer. We have uh, previously, uh, previous day already uh, discussed Urpita, uh, core network design, distribution network design. And also finally we will, after designing the these uh, three layer, we'll testing the design campus network uh, using ping command, trace route, HTTP, DNS, desktop PC, laptop PC, home router. And also we'll check some uh, Cisco command, uh, uh, we'll uh, uh, see the uh, what we have already configured in our uh, network topology. So uh, basically, yesterday you will already uh, uh, know about the basic campus network design. Here is the just a brief. Here is the hardware part, and this is the logical uh, logical to, uh, logical part. That means simulator part. Uh, this is the hardware part, and this is the simulator part. So we will design. Basically, uh, initially the ISP network, the core layer, distribution layer, and user access layer. I think you have already familiar all these uh, network component. Uh, uh, you have from uh, course one, network devices and tools, then course uh, yesterday, campus network, some concept, and also some tools about uh, distribution router, core router, core switch, distribution switch, uh, some server, uh, also discussed uh, with Pita some uh, uh, firewall issue. So this is the basic issue. So I think yesterday the uh, yesterday class the brief is about the basic cam campus network design. And basically our target uh, is to design campus since we are uh, related to university. That's why we have considered uh, our university uh, uh, like we have free building on our campus, student hall where around 2000 students live and we want to connect all of our students to uh, get the internet access. Teacher dormitory, also we have uh, uh, some like 50 or 100 teachers, where approximately 20 families and academic building uh, want to use the academic purpose, the internet access. So basically this is the uh, main target. So 
and also yesterday discussion you learn about all this issue so also now we uh, i want to discuss about the network simulation tools and software now presently uh, we are using uh, basically uh, here i have uh, shown the 10 network simulation tools and software uh, firstly cisco packet tracer then uh, zns3 graphical network system 3 putty secure uh, crt microsoft video prtg wireshark fng network simulator ns3 snmp agent simulator so uh, cisco packet tracer and zns3 is the most popular uh, simulator uh, because uh, cisco most popular simulator so if we just uh, see the uh, brief about the cisco and zns uh, this is the uh, just i have shown here the graphical network system uh, 3 zns3 this is the graphical user interface uh, we are familiar most of them familiar with the uh, packet tracer so this is zns3 graphical network system uh, 3 zns3 basically is a network simulation or emulation tool and software basically uh, uh, simulator or emulator you can call this emulate emulation tools and software and it is a kind of virtual network in a suitcase Z zns3 can simulate the complex network and scenarios and support the combination of support the combination of virtual and real network devices and zns3 is one uh, zns3 uh, is the tools to build design configure and test your network scenario in completely risk free virtual environment and also it is available for windows linux and mac just for your brief uh, you can use it uh, you can use this zns3 but since we are related to our target is to give a Cisco uh, Cisco training. That's why we are we are using here the Cisco Packet Tracer. And most of the our, our other course we will take through Cisco Packet Tracer. That's why we have emphasis this uh, Cisco Packet Tracer. So this is a Cisco Packet Tracer. This is graphical user interface. Uh, basically, Cisco Packet Tracer uh, is a dominant network simulation tool built by Cisco system. We know uh, about the Cisco. Uh, because it is the pioneer company of networking devices you can make a simple or complex network inside the packet tracer to create plan configure and test your network scenarios in a completely virtual ecosystem that means uh, this network uh, simulation tool allow user to create network topology and intimate those in modern computer networks so we can just simulate uh, uh, before doing any campus network design in physically we can simulate in our uh, through this packet tracer and we can uh, see the, our how many user we can connect uh, how can how, how how much bandwidth we can share so this this type of feasibility study you need to ensure before any project uh, or before you want to uh, implement any project in your in your uh, campus uh, for this uh, uh, internet access so packet tracer is the one of the most famous networking simulation software among networking aspirants and beginners so it is used actively during the cisco ccna certification training that's why we are using this packet tracer software so latest version i have already emailed you probably uh, 8.2 or 8.11 so you can download it uh, the official version version from cisco packet tracer from netcat.com or any other uh, sources you can download and install it and you can uh, familiar with it. I, I think uh, I have already discussed about this basic campus network design. So I uh, uh, I will design and explain one by one uh, the ISP network core layer, uh, BGP, uh, I think distribution layer and user access layer. One by one I will uh, design and also the configure, uh, configuration one by one and we I will test I will show you how can you test and how can uh, you uh, understand that your design has uh, successfully implemented. Uh, this is the basic campus network. We are going to design it through packet tracer. Uh, this is the basic campus network IP address. Basically, IP address or internal protocol address. Uh, we are the, basically this uh, protocol address IP address is two types. IP version 4 and IP version 6. I think we have a course on uh, third number course, uh, IP version 4 and IP version 6. So I think uh, IP address basically a unique ID uh, sub, uh, because I we know uh, we have a name. So like IP address also one kind of identify uh, 
uh, if any devices is connected connected with uh, uh, any network then it must be identified by id so that's why just uh, this is a 32 bit id so uh, uh, bi binary 32 bit but we are using the decim uh, dec our decimal uh, number uh, basically four octet uh, here we have used the four octet for any ip address so just uh, uh, you need to uh, i think since you are familiar with I packet tracer and others issue so most of them familiar with this uh, ip address so if you are not familiar then we will uh, uh, we will try to learn in course 3 but in current course you can just uh, uh, know, uh, know this number then and uh, just configure your uh, networking uh, i think uh, in packet tracer then you can see the what happened so i think i will use one by one from this uh, uh, addressing table one by one because i i have used a uh, isp public network so you can see that uh, basically two type another another way ip address can be classified in private private ip and public ip basically most of the uh, public ip or real ip you are familiar with the real ip basically you can, when you are connecting with the internet so uh, you can uh, uh, go to google and you can uh, see what is my ip then you can see what actually your real ip because uh, so if you are co connected with the uh, with your uh, laptop to any network so basically your laptop is connected through a, uh, a local area network, a local area ip local ip but if when you see uh, what is my ip in google then you can see the real ip that's real ip is basically related uh, you are going to uh, access the internet so so we will i think we will uh, learn this uh, uh, details ip about ip address ip version 4 and ip version 6 in next course so this is the ip table basically internet protocol uh, table we will using our ne uh, net, uh, network design one by one i think uh, this is the just brief about my presentation so now i i will show about the uh, uh, just uh, brief about the packet tracer so i think i will share this packet tracer tutorial those who are not familiar uh, i think you can just uh, 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 study this uh, material and you you can uh, learn easily it's a, a very simple and easy uh, to uh, uh, learn it. so i think this is the basic topology uh, uh, this is called the topology here we have uh, used a uh, router a switch and also a desk, uh, desktop pc and initially we need to creating and arranging device i will just uh, brief creating the device one by one uh, you can just uh, uh, check it so I just click and uh, insert your device in your packet tracer uh, window and you can see i think this is i am not explaining it i will uh, do it in packet tracer so you can connect it you can uh, assign the cable uh, then you can uh, uh, some legacy device you can add also the new device you can add from the uh, uh, down uh, down menu and also multi user cloud and new laptop you can also add some uh, connecting issue so cabling this is the red color uh, that means not yet uh, your link is up and choose the smart connection icon choose the connection icon here uh, click on the first device click on the second device then connect this device i will show you uh, port uh, or labels and other issue you can enable you can see the port label by clicking the inter uh, preference issue i will show you and some blink also uh this is the uh, your network is up here this way another cluster you can join uh, create uh, you can select uh, your fast ethernet or other ethernet or what type of interface you want to connect now configuring device you can go to the double click the icon uh, any device icon then go to the configuration also you can configure from command line interface cli or graphical user interface uh, both uh, facilities is available in uh, packet tracer uh, you can change the device name or host name 
we can uh, change we will change the device name through the command prompt and you can assign the ip address mac address or other issue by using the graphical interface or command line interface both way you can uh, configure it and also you must uh, put status you must click it or on it so ios commands are updated and the link light is now green so if your two connection link light is uh, green then you uh, can understand that your link is up or connection is okay uh, so configuration tab or any global tab and you can also add note or other issue and you can also save uh, the file always extension is dot pkt and verify connectivity so you can go to the desktop section of every pc then command prompt or i uh, command prompt and you can ping it ping is a one kind of command to see the connection between two devices and you can just send a uh, ping the uh, which pc you want to uh, uh, see the connection then you need to search ping command and then the ip address the host uh, uh, or PC IP address, then you can see this uh, reply here. Uh, the reply from by 32 bytes, uh, about 32. And also the time to leave is uh, 120. So if this reply is okay, then you can understand that your connection is uh, okay. And also you can run a simulation mode. You can here, we can see that simulation mode and also uh, we, you can send a PDU programmable data, data unit and say the connection between two devices and also simulated packet how packet is moved from one uh, devices to other device and which player is responsible for this packet. So we will I will show you the details in packet tracer. So this is the icon and you can I will show you uh, and also auto capture play and other issue you can uh, see this layer one layer two or layer three layer one layer two just in layer out layer uh, this issue we will check uh, some issue you have you you face some issue here are some uh, uh, my pings are unsuccessful why uh, your ping is unsuccessful there may some issue so you can uh, just take it and you can use it packet tracer I think uh, this is the just brief about the packet tracer. Uh, I think now I am going to directly to design uh, the packet tracer. So I am using the packet tracer uh, version uh, 8.2.00. So our target, so we uh, again, we will uh, see our the campus network topology. This is our topology. So right. Okay, so this is our topology. So I want to design first the ISP network part. Uh, so here you can see the a cloud we have uh, added, a server we have added, a desktop PC we have added for testing this connection. A, uh, a Swiss, uh, uh, this, uh, this is basically a course Swiss. We have uh, uh, named it as a course Swiss. Uh, it's a empty Swiss where we, we, we uh, uh, we have added a empty switch so i think uh, i just uh, i want to design this part first so from this this is the graphical design uh, interface of packet tracer so here you can see this is the escape or select issue so if you select any button or if you want to cancel if just select it and press escape then it will uh, select or escape so th uh, this is for uh, just uh, increasing or decreasing the size. And this is for if you want to delete any component from your network, you can use this icon, uh, resize this window or note with window here is line and some box you can uh, draw here. Uh, this is the programmable, a simple PDU, programmable data unit. You can use this packet for testing purpose. And this is such complex PDU. So, and we will, and also here is just a, a save window. You can uh, create the file and also uh, you can save it. So in this phase, uh, you can uh, see this, there is a, some icon. This is networking device, all type of networking device. You can 
uh, take it from here. Here the switch, here hubs, here uh, wireless devices, then uh, security, some security issue or some one emulation. And also some uh, end device, you can you uh, take it from here. Uh, here are some IoT devices, uh, some uh, another component and also power grid and also some others fan like this component. You can use it from here. So this is the component, some actuator or others uh, electronic components. So this is the cabling. So you can use auto cable or you can use the specific cable you want to use in your for your connection or topology. Okay. And this is the miscellaneous some others component. And this is the multi-user submission. So you can use all type of uh, networking components from this uh, icon. Okay. So now Okay. <clears throat> so now I want to directly uh, now go to, to the design this ISP network. So, so I am taking uh, so, uh, here from uh, so I want to take a cloud or internet connect just for cloud access and Want to take a server PC, server computer, sorry. I think server PC and also a desktop PC for testing purpose. Uh, here I need to take a uh, Swiss. I think uh, the, I, I we can call it the, we can uh, PT Swiss. Okay. So this is our basic component. I think uh, this three, uh, uh, four components I have already taken. Now I want to cabling it. Uh, so from cloud network to Swiss, we want to uh, connect it by using uh, optical fiber. Okay, optical fiber, giga, gigabyte port. So I can check it. So here, so if you want to use gigabyte port, so here different kinds of port already. This is ethernet port. Uh, so if you change any interface from any devices, you need to power off fast. Okay, so you need to careful about this. You need to power off fast then you need to remove this port. And also you can uh, take a fiber optic gigabyte port. Okay, so this port basically fiber optic FGE, fiber optic gigabyte port. So you can check it, sorry, I must power on. Okay, so you can just configure so need some OS, we need. Okay. So here you can see that two gigabyte ethernet port, four one and five by one, we have already added. And also the, you need to also the port status on. So in cloud network, uh, also, we uh, we need to add a fast gigabyte port. So sorry. Okay, and also I can check the server. I think uh, fast Ethernet one, and also this one. I think of one uh, fast Ethernet zero. So all the interface I have already selected. Now I want to cabling it. So for cabling, uh, since uh, this two cloud and also this Swiss, we want to connect through optical fiber. So I need to take a fiber cable. 
so just click here and gigabit ethernet click here and uh, just gigabit ethernet and also i want to connect this switch uh, so we can re, uh, rename it uh, basically excuse, so, excuse me sir yes sir i draw your attention uh, some of the participant request us uh, to blow, go slowly because uh, okay, all of okay, they okay. have to uh, uh, configure all of this component uh, for this region please uh, i request you okay to okay okay poor swiss so you can rename it poor swiss this is the poor swiss sir so sorry for interruption uh, someone want to show the switch power button power button off on please show it okay so here you can see this power button so adjust off and you can if you want to switch on then a green signal will enable i think uh, zoom out sorry zoom in you can take it power button on power button off so you can do you understand or not i am not sure okay so one problem is that so the uh, there the, the light is uh, was uh, red because i have not yet uh, on this cloud so you need to power on this cloud okay so this is off and this is on so when you want to remove any interface from any component you must power off then add the component or remove the uh, remove the interface then again power on okay so now i want to connect the spur switch to server okay so i need to take a uh, port switch to server because this is not a homogeneous devices so i can use a state cable i think fast ethernet here you can connect fast ethernet okay so you can see this labeling so if in uh, fast ethernet 0 1 to fast ethernet 0 so if you uh, in your packet tracer if this labeling is not shown in your uh, window then you need to go to preference and here you can see that show device name labels and also uh, i think show uh, device name labels show port labels uh, you need to click here show device name labels and also always show port labels in logical workspace because this is the logical we are working now a logical workspace okay so i need to connect my the sorry again i need to connect the swiss fast ethernet one one to fast ethernet zero my desktop so you can check it So this is the cabling. If I uh, have any, uh, I think you have understand the cabling issue. So if you have any question, you can uh, ask in a question answer box, or or you can ask if you don't understand the cabling. Then I will show you again because we need to we need to it one by one. Okay, I think uh, is there anyone have any issue or pizza? for cabling yes sir okay cloud sir, to someone switch. just uh, want to know about cloud to switch connection and uh, he wants to repeat this whole connection okay but sir i think it's time consuming uh, they can show the video i think uh, i will i am now showing uh, again just uh, so i want to connect the switch to cloud because I, I have already taken the gigabyte port optical fge i think uh, we have already uh, activate this is gigabyte port ethernet okay fge fg that means five fiber 
gigabyte ethernet so i need to take the optical from here and connect the gigabyte port and connect this gigabyte port one uh, since this is the same devices so i can connect the fast ethernet to fast ethernet zero i can connect the switch fast ethernet one by one to fast ethernet zero i think th this way you can connect or or you can check so if this connection is okay or not i think uh, we can throw a uh, pdu okay i think we need to configure the port that's why we can, could not see it okay so now i have already show a table here you can see that campus network ip address table uh, the, uh, so i am uh, uh, designing this part so public public dns or http server this is the ip address 103.133.2 so now i am going to configure the server uh, so you can go to, uh, double click the server and desktop ip configuration so you can as you need to put here the uh, I, I, uh, host ip address that means server ip address what what ip address we want to assign this uh, server so we have already calculated our uh, address so actually 103.133.254.2 so this is the subnet mask this subnet mask is basically using for identify the network so this 250.255.255.255.0 and default gateway basically this network default gateway is assigned as sorry uh, one and also the host ip address also the dns server address so basically this is the uh, server ip configuration we want to, i want to access from my endpoint uh, access my from uh, from my endpoint to access this server by using this ip address basically this is the server ip address so i have already configured this one ip address for uh, uh, ip address subnet mask default gateway and dns server four portion you need to fill uh, configure uh, for this uh, uh, server okay now i want uh, since i uh, i want to show you the two type of application application basically http and dns so i we we need to go to the services we need to on the services and you can see there is some uh, web pages already uh, packet tracer already uh, did, uh, already make it here we can change this index file or we can edit this index file so we can change it or day two so you just save it and overwrite the file and also i also you need to configure the dns basically you need to on the dns your what about your dns dns basically domain naming system you have already familiar basically uh, if your university id like ps2 csc.ps.h.bd so we can assign here any type uh, dns but if in practical environment you need to register your domain in any register any register any com, uh, registration uh, company like uh, different kinds of register company they are, they can give you the available dns so since this is a, our uh, just simulator we are using so we can assign any type of dns www.webinar.sc.bd so this is our uh, url our dns and also we need to assign the ip address so basically our server address is the dns ip address so we need to add in a record different kinds of record available basically this is for domain naming services if you want to 
configure a, uh, a DNS server, then you need to add it your, uh, you need to name your resource records as like this, and also the a which, what type of record you want to add. Basically, a record and other type of record is available, so you can learn it next uh, any any course. And we need to add here. So if I uh, uh, if I want to say uh, I want to see the IP address webinar dot webinar dot ac dot bd, I can write the one zero three dot one c three two five four two five four dot one dot two, or I can use this DNS. I can use the IP address, or I can use this DNS. So I think this is the configuration for server. Okay, I think you, uh, uh, if you have any issue, you can uh, ask in your question box. So now we can check, uh, uh, check uh, I can access the server uh, from this PC or not. Okay, so I can check it two, uh, uh, two ways by using the command line interface or from browser. So I want to, check from this PC because this PC is connected to this Swiss and this server is also connected this Swiss. So if I go to this desktop, uh, I can using the command, uh, sorry, uh, command prompt. Now I can ping it. So, okay, another issue I have forgotten. I need to configure this PC also. Uh, basically, this is uh, this network is basically this ne uh, remote PC. Basically, this uh, this, uh, 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 this PC also the uh, also the IP address from uh, will get the IP address from this network 1031332540. That means where 254 is the default gateway. Uh, dot two we have already assigned for the server IP address, so we can use it 1031332540 dot four five or any address uh, we can assign this remote desktop so one zero three so i think one zero three dot one three three dot two five four dot uh three we can assign and we can also assign the i subnet mask two five five two five five dot zero and default gateway is one and dns server we, we have already know our DNS server, this one. And this one, the configuration, I think uh, fast ethernet also uh, status, port status on. So I'll, I think already configured. So now I can check for the ping command. Ping one, one zero, sorry. I think I have, I can paste it. Uh, I think uh, three. I can ping my own. I think uh, I can check the configuration is okay. For my PC, I can check the server. You, you are uh, this PC is connected to server or not. I think connection already okay. Okay, so I can understand this uh, by using this ping command that my desktop is connected to server, can access this server. So since we have already, uh, configure this server both http and dns service uh, from desktop pc sorry Con uh, desktop pc i can close this one using this browser You can see that URL. I am uh, just typing the server IP address. I can easily access this uh, website. Or this is the uh, basically HTTP uh, uh, service or DNS service. We can check it www.webinar.ac.bd. I think, uh, okay, I need to check again. Sorry. Okay, www.webinar.ac.bd. Okay, so I think I, we can access our server by from from this PC. Is it clear now? Just checking this server 
configuration is okay or not. So if you understand this configuration, then we can go to our next configuration. That means uh, core core layer. We can uh, configure the core layer. Uh, here we uh, you can see the core uh, core router and distribution router, distribution switch, and other access points. So now we can go to the configure the core layer. So for core layer, uh, I think I can save my work in desktop day two. Okay, so I need to take a uh, Swiss, a uh, sorry router. Uh, so, uh, so I can take a, a empty router. Okay, I can take a uh, PT router or empty. Okay. For core Swiss, core, core Swiss, and also another router. This one for distribution source okay so for uh, configuring this uh, core router so uh, okay, sorry i think empty router is best Router. <clears throat> okay, so clicking this, you can uh, see that this uh, interface is now empty. So I want to add what type of interface I want. I want. I want to take. So from this uh, port switch to empty router, we want to uh, use a optical fiber line. So in that case, uh, you can take a fiber. Ethern, a gigabyte Ethernet, and also you can take uh, a fast Ethernet. So you can take this the two interface because I want to connect this router, uh, core router to distribution router, and also the core router to uh, core switch. So if I want to connect uh, core 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 router to switch. Uh, so we are we want to use the optical fiber. So gigabyte uh, gigabyte Ethernet for port one. I think uh, this is sorry. I want to take a gigabit for. Okay, and you see that the uh, this is the red li red uh, light. So I want to enable both interface. Some time need. Okay, so you need to on it. As a gigabit Ethernet one zero also need to on it. So in that case, you can see the green light. Green light. Okay, and also the uh, distributions. Sorry. Sorry, distribution router. You need to connect the distribution to router. So this is the same devices. So we need to we need to take the cross table. Okay, gigabyte Ethernet one and also the. So we have not yet 
uh, we need to add the port. Uh, so we need to add the copper gigabyte ethernet. Copper gigabyte ethernet and also the copper two copper gigabyte ethernet. Okay. And also the on it, then we need we can connect for the cross cable. Gigabyte uh, uh, Ethernet zero port. That means uh, distribution router port port uh, zero zero two four router. You can see four router one zero. So I am connecting this one for uh, uh, port two. Okay, I think you, you can see the uh, gigabyte port zero zero two gigabyte port one zero and also gigabyte port zero zero two uh, so connected to Swiss. So we need to. Uh, on this two port, both port we need to on. Okay. Cabling now completed. So uh, we can configure it, core uh, router configuration. First, uh, I, I want to configure this core router, both port, uh, first, uh, gigabyte Ethernet uh, 00, 0 and gigabyte Ethernet 10. So gigabyte Ethernet, we want to see the table. This is the core router interface, uh, 254.1 and uh, 0 0.1, two type of uh, IP address we have assigned. So 103.132.254.1 and the uh, also, this uh, gigabyte Ethernet 10 port 10.28.0.1 and the IP address is uh, subnet must is 255.255.248. So, you can see this table here interface, and this is the net. Uh, uh, this is this is the network 248. This is the, our network is 10.28.0.0.29. So you can on it and you can also check this command prompt that how they assign the IP address. So we'll uh, configure it later. So now I think the uh, core router has configured. Now we need to configure the gigabyte port uh, 00. So here same same IP address we can assign. That means uh, 28.0.1, we can assign 28.0.2, 10.28.0.2, and IP uh, subnet mask 255.255.248. Okay. So we can just configure it. We can check this router is on. Connection is config okay or not? Fail. So we can check it again. I think successful. You can see this successful config uh, connection between core router and distribution router. Among, uh, that means uh, the, here we can use the ICMP Ethernet Control Mixes protocol. We can check it for troubleshooting or any other issue. We can use it. So now the uh, uh, core router and distribution connection is okay. So if we can see our network, so now this user access layer. Uh, sorry, here also a distribution switch. We need to configure a distribution switch. Uh, so in that case, uh, we need to go take a switch. Uh, I think uh, we can take a 24 port switch here, manageable switch. 24 port manageable switch. Here you can see that total 24 port and here a ethernet port so we can connect through a state cable <clears throat> so we can connect state cable that means gigabyte ethernet 10 port to fast ethernet we can connect it already on okay now we can design our uh, user access layer. That means we want to, uh, 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 so this is the, 
sorry this is the distribution swiss distribution swiss now <clears throat> i can add this uh, sorry network so here three switches and also some pc and router we can connect these three uh, vlan we we have we want to create a three vlan 10 student 20 vlan 30 for student teacher and academic so we want to take T24 Swiss 2924 Swiss. Yeah, this Swiss is uh, for student, teacher, academy. So, yeah, here 24 Swiss. We want to, you can see 24 port. I think 24 port here, one port is connected to a uh, distribution router. And from port two to six, we want, uh, we want to use for VLAN one, they are, sorry, VLAN 10. From seven to 12, uh, 11, we want to use it for VLAN 20. And from 12 to 16, we want to use for uh, VLAN 30. So we want to configure it. Uh, so, <clears throat> So I want to connect this uh, uh, switch to a student. So we are, because this is both are switch, so we need to take straight uh, cross cable. So port two to here, port fast Ethernet one. Port I think uh, seven to fast Ethernet one. Port twelve to fast Ethernet one. Okay, and we want to add some desktop PC to access this uh, network. <clears throat> and we want to connect uh, through state cable, fast Ethernet to fast Ethernet. Okay. I think Olpita, there are any question? Olpita, can you hear me? Yes, sir. I am hearing, but I think Olpita is um, uh, muted now. Okay. Any issue? No. I think do I, is there any question to designing any any participant? Okay. So, mm, sir, uh, someone. Sir, someone asked for a uh, cool layer configuration. Okay. Is it possible for you to uh, repeat again? So, in that case, how can I finish within 5, 10? Uh, no, no, you may proceed. You may proceed. Uh, the, so, the I think you can uh, see the letter uh, after uploading the video. I think oh. you can check the video and uh, design it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so, now, we need to configure the this uh, distribution switch uh, for VLAN, sorry, VLAN database. Okay, so in that case, I need to go to the distribution switch and configuration. You can see it uh, here, configuration port one, we have already used, uh, we want to use it for trunk. Uh, basically for VLAN, you must uh, use a one port uh, for trunking trunk purpose because uh, Swiss port mode trunk. Uh, basically, uh, the only command that you can use to configure trunking is Swiss port mode uh, trunk, which essentially turns turns trunking on it. Many Cisco Swiss employ an automatic trunking mechanism known as dynamic trunking uh, protocol, which allows a trunk to be a dynamic distance between two switches. So this port one should be configured as trunk. Okay. And other port, port two to port uh, six, we want using for VLAN 10, port uh, seven to 12, uh, 11, we want to use for VLAN 20. And also uh, uh, from port uh, 12 to 16, we want to use for VLAN 30. So in the, for distribution switch, 
we need to configure it. Uh, we need to add a VLAN database first. We uh, we can VLAN number. We can assign VLAN name as VLAN name is student. You need to add this one and also you need to call VLAN number. You need to assign a VLAN number for teacher and also 30, you can assign it academic. So if you need any uh, more than three uh, VLAN, you can configure it up to based on your uh, distribution switch. So how, how many port in your distribution switch? We have used 24 port. So that's why we, uh, we, uh, we, we can use up to 24 port. One port is assigned for trunk and rest of the port you can assign for VLAN configuration. So Sir, now uh, someone asked us uh, why we are using trunk. Uh, please uh, just you may uh, repeat it briefly. Okay. So since we are using a uh, three VLAN and we want to basically three three VLAN we have configured, but we can uh, use it. We uh, we are now, we want to use it. Half Ethernet port 0, 01 to uh, configure this VLAN. Uh, so, switch port mode trunk, you need to activate it. Okay, because if you want, uh, because for switching mechanism between uh, VLAN 1, all VLAN want to access uh, the network by using this uh, port 1. Okay, fast Ethernet port 1. That's why you need to tr trunk it. It's a, uh, I think I, I will uh, give you later the, uh, uh, I, if I get I, I time, I will explain you the end of the of this session. Okay, just I, I, I want to show the configuration, then I will uh, explain it uh, later for more details. Okay, so now for fast Ethernet, I have just configured uh, mode to trunk mode. For fast Ethernet 2, you need to assign it VLAN 10. So you need to configure it. You can check it here. The here the 10 student port port 2, port 3 also need to assign. Uh, port 4 also need to assign. Port 5 also need to assign. And also port 6 from port 6 because we are using uh, port 6 also need to uh, VLAN 10. We need to assign it. And from port 7, we need to assign it uh, 20. From it, we need to assign it. Click and again click. We are now configure it. And from 12, you need to assign the uh, I think I, I need to create again, not yet VLAN 30. I need to add, okay, 12. I need to assign the 30. 13, I need to assign 30 academic. 14, I need to assign 30. 15, I need to assign Thirty academic, and also sixteen. I need to assign thirty academic. So, uh, basically, this is the VLAN configuration and also the assigned number. Uh, now, so VLAN I have already configured. So, if you hover this uh, your uh, uh, I, I mouse cursor, then you can assign which port is uh, assigned for wh what purpose. So and fast ethernet you can and also you can check you can export the distribution information that means switch port running configuration you can export it and also you can check it so uh, basically switch mode uh, trunk vlan 10 210 310 410 510 610 720 because you need to check it if any uh, mistake or not 9 10 10 10 11 10 and 12 30 uh, 12 30 30 13 13 30 40 13 50 13 and 69 i think the configuration is okay now okay 
so vlan configuration is okay now uh, so now i need to configure the uh, the vlan configuration uh, in this route distribution router okay a uh, distribution router vlan configuration so if you want to configure vlan so you need to go to this uh, distribution router and go, you need to go to the common line interface and you need to enter and this is the uh, common line interface of uh, uh, distribution router so you need to enable it uh, and ena then you can press the tab then full command will show enable it then you need to go to configure configure confer terminal con confer terminal then you can say uh, go to configuration now you can show, see that the uh, router configuration mode is on so i want to change the host name uh, this one distribution distribution router so you can change it or not it's not a big issue so i think you can check it now distribution router now configured okay so uh, from design you can see that uh, the gigabyte ethernet 10 is connected to distribution switch okay so you need to remember it which port which interface is connected to which devices so distribution uh, uh, so distribution router gigabit port 1 is connected to first ethernet 01 okay so i need to go to the interface interface the giga gigabit ethernet which port slash one zero i need one to assign it vlan 10 okay vlan in uh, 10 so i can description i i want i can add the description vlan 10 vlan underscore 10 interface this is the description and also you need to sorry you need to add a encapsulation enc encapsulation dot one q dot one q with vlan 10 you need to encapsulate it and also who is uh, you need to add the ip address ip address with uh our network address uh, uh, we are now uh, assigned for vlan vlan uh, 10 so 10.28.32.1 so this is the ip address uh, sorry sub interface okay so i need to assign the, also the mask subnet mask slash notation i can you you can take it uh, from this notation sub interface 10.22.32.1 the subnet mask uh, 255.255.24.0 uh, network address is 10.22.28.32.0 we need to remember it so before uh, any uh, configuration you need to planning this ip address so you can just assign it so okay so distribution router now already assigned uh, so uh, assign it okay so vlan 10 now configuration in distribution router so in this way you need to others uh, two router need to uh, sorry others two vlan also need to configure so i need to assign the uh, i am using the up arrow key i can go to my previous command that means i need to assign 1.0.20 this is 20 uh, 20 vlan now configuring 
and also the dot q20 sorry i i need to description i am using 20 then dot q dot 1q20 and also the assign the ip address i think the 64.1 64.1 for VLAN 10 and also okay the VLAN 10 completed now I need to ask, uh, do it again now 30 then sir excuse sir excuse me is it possible yes. for you to enlarge the uh, command window Okay, I think this is very much effective for parts. Okay. Uh, dot one Q twenty. I think I need to change this thirty. You can change it. Then uh, time and you can also the description art interface. And finally, you just added the IP address. I think this one IP address at 96. Okay. Uh, 96.1. Then you need to exit from the command prompt. Okay. This is exit from the command prompt. So I have already assigned this uh, three interface to uh, VLAN uh, 10, 20, and 30. Now I need to assign the uh, IP address uh, for DSCP configuration. So from, uh, because we want to uh, uh, use, uh, using a DSCP protocol, dynamic host configuration protocol for accessing uh, the internet IP address. So if any user is connected connected to one VLAN, then automatically uh, take uh, or will connect it to uh, internet by using this DSCP uh, protocol. So we need to configure it. So DS, D, Okay, uh, I think I, I have already exit the interface now configuration now IP DHCP uh, pool which pool are we are using VLAN 10. So I am configuring it and also the network uh, network address I need to assign the network as a 10.28.32.0. And all you need to give a subnet mask, Bishop Bonsano dot Bishop Bonsano dot Bishop Chobish dot zero. So this is the first network address and also the uh, subnet mask. And you need to assign a default router, default router that means the first address of this uh, uh, IP address pool 10 dot uh, 28 dot 32 dot one. This is the default router address. Okay, for this is the first VLAN, uh, sorry, first v DHCP pool VLAN. So, and also you need to configure the DNS server. Uh, our DNS server IP address was 103.133.254.2. Okay, DNS server. This is uh, for DNS server. And you, we need to exit it. Okay, so this uh, this uh, this con DHCP configuration for fast VLAN 10. So in this way, we need to configure uh, VLAN 20 and VLAN 30. So I am uh, using my arrow key uh, for DHCP uh, 20. I I just uh, uh, go to the upper command and then change this command and then enter. Now I am configuring VLAN 10, 20, and also the Network address, network address should be uh, 64.0. And also the uh, default router 64.1. I have already assigned in my address table. And also the default router I have already configured. And then DNS server should be same. All all VLAN DNS server should be sent. Now I need to configure the uh, 
I need to exit. Then I need to configure the DS IP DSCP. IP DSCP pool 30. Then I need to go to the IP address, this one 96.0. And this one, uh, network address should be as, okay, network address already assigned. Default order should be 96.1. And DNS server, I need to configure DNS server. This was. Okay, so I have already configured the DNS server and uh, DHCP, uh, sorry, DHCP protocol pool, but uh, from 64.1 to, uh, I think the, uh, you can see from, this is the VLAN 32, uh, DHCP should be 32.2 to 63.254. This is available address, but uh, our network had already assigned 32.1 to uh, 64. Uh, I think uh, the, the full address. So we need to exclude some address which is uh, will, will be, uh, which is used for a special purpose. That's why we need to exclude some address. So in that case, so I need to go to the distribution router again, and I need to use the command. I need to exit and IP DACP exclude address uh, 10.28.32.1 because this is the jet, uh, default router uh, router address that's why it should be excluded and also the last address of this ip pool that means this uh, address should be uh, 63.255 this is also this last address also the reserved address that's why we need to exclude this address from the available DHCP. This is, uh, and we need to do this for all three VLAN. So 64.1 and also the 95.255 and also 96.1. And also actual one twenty seven dot visual phone summary. So uh, I think I have completed the VLAN configuration and also the DSCP pool. Now I can check the DSCP is okay or not. Okay. So in in this case, you need to go. We need to go to the desktop server and also the desktop IP configuration. So I, I need to enable this DSCP. Okay, so you, you can check the, see that uh, 10.28.32.2 and this pool from VLAN 10, uh, this PC is assigned. So, and also we can assign this PC uh, uh, on this PC 64.2. And also we can check from this PC, DHCP, so 96.2. So you can check it from three VLAN, three type of, uh, three type of IP address has been assigned for three desktop, three desktop PC. Now I can, I can add, add uh, the uh, router, home, home wireless router, I think the home WRT router from this way. Uh, configure. Okay, sorry. Okay, so I, I, I have added this router and also the home router and also this home router. I can connect through the uh, state cable. 
platform first Ethernet. You need to connect internet part. This is the wireless home wireless network. It's, uh, internet and also here the internet. So I think the wireless part you can check is it okay or not i think configuration is the attributes okay so i can add a laptop here so i can connect this laptop to this pc by from laptop i need to off power off and also i need to uh, remove the LAN. I need to add a WLAN and also on. So desktop, I need to PC wireless. Okay, I think I need to configure it. Um, uh, okay, wireless. Now name should be student student okay student wi-fi wpsk uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i think encryption type this way okay i can go to here and available uh, router name i can check so uh, you can see this uh, student router or another router have i can connect it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So you can check it. This laptop is connected to this router and also this one. So I I, I think uh, uh, so you can check the IP configuration also. So another router, uh, this router basically connected to this uh, home router and wireless. Uh, that means the IP had assigned from this router. So this is not in, uh, from uh, the DHCP pool. So this router has connected to uh, that. Mean, that means, uh, okay. So you can check this router IP. Uh, okay. You can see uh, see this. The one port has uh, assigned a IP address from DHCP pool 10.28.32.3 from the DHCP pool. So this way you can connect a laptop or other PC or other network to the uh, 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 VLAN team. Okay, so this uh, VLAN configuration is now okay. And all, we can we also connect some uh, PC, uh, PC laptop also, and also get the DHCP uh, uh, IP from here. Now we need to configure uh, uh, these two router BGP protocol because uh, the configuration is not uh, packet will not forward it from this router to this router. Okay, if I want to access this PC, we cannot uh, success because we need to configure these two router for a uh, protocol dynamic route routing protocol and also a one static protocol. So we can now configure it. So I need to go to the distribution router again. So I need to configure the distribution router. This distribution router. Okay. Enable on our terminal. So I, I just uh, enable the configure terminal and uh, I want to router BGP. Uh, I want to assign this uh, uh, distribution router uh, BGP ASN number 65001 and also BGP log. I need to log diverse changes on and also no synchronization command. So this command need to basically BGP configuration, no synchronization. And I need to see the neighbor. That means a core router, uh, that means distribution router, neighbor is core router. So I need to assign here NEI neighbor uh, 10 dot. I need to know the IP address of neighbor 28.0.1. We are the neighbor uh, port address. 
that means gigabyte one zero we have already assigned 10.8.0.1 and also the mass uh, 255 255.255.248 okay mass we have now assigned mm. Oh, sorry. No synchronization. Okay. Ten dot one. This one reads for it. Remote. Remote as. Oh, sorry. Ten dot zero dot one should be remo remote as as ASN number. Another one. So it should be zero zero two. Sorry. Okay, uh, so I need to uh, assign the network address, connected network address, network 10.28.0.0. So I need to assign this network, uh, mask already know 255.255.255.0.0. Okay, network already assigned. So uh, 28.0, we need to assign other, other network also, 255.28.32.0, and also the IP address, 255, sorry, 224 subnet. So, configure router. Oh, sorry, zero, and also the another network already connected VLAN 64.0, another network connected 96.0. So we need to assign all, uh, we need to configure all this network which are connected this distribution router. So we need to BGP again the log log update, log neighbor changes, and we need to exit. So uh, distribution router configuration now completed the BGP. Okay, so I need to configure again the core router. So router enable, configure terminal, configure terminal. So configure terminal, I need to enable and similar way, I want to configure it router BGP. BGP. Uh, so this one we have already assigned position to the 002. Uh, BGP asynchronous. So uh, BGP log neighbor changes. We need to enable it. No synchronization. Enable it. And also the neighbor. I need to check the who is neighbor. Uh, basically, 10 uh, 28.02 is uh, this uh, core router neighbor is distribution router. Distribution router uh, IP address is 10. neighbor 10.28.0.2 remote as uh, we have already assigned the ASN number, we should be hazard 001. Uh, distribution router ASN number. We need to configure it. And then we need to add the network, all network uh, in this network table, actual pin, sorry, 103.133. Dot dot and mask 255.255.255.0.0. .255 .255 .255 .255 .255 and okay another network has uh, already connected so uh, basically uh, this router is connected to this one and this router is connected to this one so for bgp you need to add all these network address 
we are now assigning we are now adding the as a network address in the starting table so 254 so now another network network uh, 10.28.0.0 and also 255.255 sorry you need to i need to add the map so you need to careful about this when you configure the router you need to write the mask uh, text to mask word then you can configure 255.25 sorry 248 so this one uh, completed now bgp log log we need to update log neighbor update and exit mm. okay uh, so so i can check show run by using the show run i can see the current configuration oh sorry you need i need to exit from the configuration then here i can show run i can see this configuration show run version okay IP address this one gigabyte Ethernet zero IP address we have assigned interface gigabyte one zero we have assigned zero one and also router BGP also BGP log an I percent no synchronization network and others issue no class uh, you can check all information from here so now the configuration so uh, BGP configuration is now completed so another another issue I need to configure basically a static route uh, for uh, the default routing you need to add. So in that case, uh, the network should be 0.0.0.0 and mask also should be 0. Dot, this is the default routing 0. And next to oh, oh, basically, uh, which one the default gateway 103. Dot, sorry, one, one zero three dot three three dot two five four dot one. Okay, I I have already added. Zero dot zero dot zero mask zero one zero three one three three. 254.1 invalid mix okay sorry I'm just checking the is it configuration is okay or not. So server to this one successful. You can see server to empty router successful. Uh, from router to server is it okay or not successful? We can check it by simulation. So from this router is it okay or not? Router to router successful. Mm, this router to server successful okay now i can check from this pc to server successful so if we are, uh, the configuration is successful we can check it uh, from this pc if, is it possible to access the uh, website we have already uh, uh, configured the server is it possible or not so we can check it 103. Dot one three three dot uh, two five four dot one mm. oh sorry server address is two so you can see that from this pc i can access uh this server from this pc i can access this server from this is the network isp network this is the distribute uh, your core network and this is the distribution 
uh, this is the access layer. From this laptop, also I can check uh, is it ac accessible or not. www.webinar.hc.bd mm. Okay, so you, I can also access from this laptop to uh, 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 from this OS, uh, that means GNS. So now the configuration is okay. So uh, I, I, I think that I, uh, and I also now we can uh, check some, uh, uh, some command from this uh, router. So we can use, so this, uh, uh, if you hover this, uh, your uh, uh, mouse to, the router, you can check this uh, port, link, IP address, and others. Also, you can go to the command prompt. So, if we can exit the show IP route, if we are use show IP route, so you can check also this uh, show IP route command where code C on others issue, gateway of last resource is not set. So 10.0. Dot is the variable submitted for submitted to mask. Uh, basically 10.28.0.0 .0 .0, 29 is directly connected to gigabyte Ethernet and uh, B means such a border gateway. So uh, VLAN 10, uh, I think the 10.20.32.0 slash 20 via 10.0.0, 22.64.0.10 and 22.64.0.11 so this is the gigabyte ethernet port so this uh, directly bgb protocol we have assigned in this uh, uh, in this router so if you can check this way so others are show you if we check show ip who are the bgp bgp neighbors so sorry show ip BGP NEI VAs. Sorry. So you can also check the send, receive, or notification and others information. So by using this command, different kinds of command you can use. I will send you the packet tracer command, Cisco packet tracer command, for the uh, command prompt they, uh, we are using. So this is the basic configuration. Uh, so Orpita, is there any have any question? Sir, uh, I have answered some question, but uh, there were some question like, uh, how can I find VLAN number or um, does one switch support multiple trunk modes? Then most recent question was, uh, so I'm not uh, we have clearing clear? about the, can you speak loudly? Okay. Uh, sir, there is a question that um, do we have to create our own IP address for our design or is it already created by company? Okay, first of all, uh, you need to take a uh, IP block from your ISP provider. Okay, like uh, Potakali Science and Technology University, they have got a IP address from APNIC. I think you have already, uh, if you want to APNIC. So I will explain next. Uh, I think IP, IP class, you will know about the details. So APNIC, there is a, a, a uh, APNIC is the regional internet access register where you can take a, uh, where you can uh, buy IP block. So you need to, uh, uh, you need to uh, buy this block from the registered organization. In our Asia Pacific region, uh, basically APNIC is responsible for this. So you need to buy this IP block from there or you can buy from BTCL also. Okay, so in this case, you need to, for ISP network, you need to uh, buy a block. But for internal use, uh, in, in this case, we are using the 10 series. This is the private IP. Uh, so you can uh, assign your own IP block by, for, from this distribution switch. Okay, so from here, here to here, you can use this distribution switch. But for uh, internet access, uh, for real IP purpose, uh, we are using 103.133.254.31, uh, 
this IP for uh, basically this uh, IP you will uh, get from the ISP provider or BTCL or uh, APNIC. So you need to take it from there. And for local area con connection, you need to ask, uh, you need to configure by your plan based on your requirement, how many building you have, how many uh, uh, address you need, and how uh, how much bandwidth you want to give. So this one. Okay, another question. Sir, the question was, how can I find VLAN no number or no? Uh, that means VLAN 10, VLAN 20, uh, VLAN yes, 30. Sir. This is user-defined VLAN number. Not not exactly VLAN 10, VLAN 14, uh, uh, this type. So you need to assign it to how many? Because uh, when I uh, create the VLAN, I think the distribution switch. So VLAN database, I just rename it. Okay, VLAN number, you just name it. And uh, if you name it in, uh, I, I, I have used VLAN 10, VLAN 20, VLAN uh, 30. In that case, you need to rename uh, your common, uh, uh, common description in that way, how, how you can assign your VLAN number and VLAN name. Okay, another um, sir, question. Another question is, what is the difference between PT and uh, PTMT router? Packet, okay. Okay, I, I am now explaining. Uh, okay, PT router. So this is PTMT and also PT router, packet tracer. PT means packet tracer. So you can check it. Uh, this router has assigned already some port. Okay, right? You can see, I think uh, if I zoom, zoom, it, zoom in, you can as, uh, see it. Uh, there is some port, but on the other hand, if empty, there is no port. So there is no model. So for using, the, uh, also you can check, there is some Cisco router model. A specific router has a specific function. So based on your requirement, you need to buy it. Okay, for simulation purpose, we are just uh, modify it. But for your requirement, how much the user you want to serve, or uh, uh, how much bandwidth, what type of port, is it uh, uh, good for only uh, Ethernet port is good for sir, your I think, configuration? I think, sir, I think the participant uh, already uh, understand it. Uh, another understand. question is why are we why we are using two routers? I think this question has already discussed uh, okay. tomorrow. Okay, Again, the, I want to discuss if you want. Yesterday, sir. Yesterday, yesterday I have yesterday discussed I it. Have... Okay, so no, some no, no, question is question. repeated. I think the participant will uh, see the video and get the answer. But uh, it's uh, if repeated and question is coming and uh, it, I think it will be hampered the uh, session. Uh, okay. Okay. So Another uh, uh, sir, the, uh, Devashi shortcut. Uh, could you ask anything? Sir, I asked him to put his question on the QA box, but uh, he okay. didn't reply. I okay, think they are now... participants. I, I just show the logical interface here. So I can I can also check the physical interface. So I need to click this physical and also you can check it. This is the physical view or I can uh, double click it. So. So I think you, you can uh, see my screen. This is the server rack. Okay, so this is the server rack. This is the power rack, power distribution switch. And this is the cloud I have taken. And you can see the port and what, uh, what type of connection. I have used the optical fiber port, uh, optical fiber port. And here is the server I have taken. And I have also connected this server uh, to other port. Uh, sorry, sorry. I, I have used this server port to uh, connect this from ser uh, server zero. And this is the core switch. Uh, the core switch, uh, uh, how they connect to with an, one another, server to switch connected, and the cloud to switch connected. Then core router is connected with uh, uh, YOLO cable is optical fiber. This cable is set six cab cable. Uh, distribution router, core router is connected to distribution port, uh, port. distribution router one and two and also sorry one and distribution router is connected to distribution switch 
Swiss two to Swiss one, and VLAN is uh, here. You can see that from distribution Swiss two to connect to teacher, student, and others. I think uh, all of you understand this issue. The uh, teacher, student, and academic all are connected this uh, VL, uh, from this uh, distribution Swiss. I think this is the physical view. You can also check from uh, based on your logical view. Okay. I think do you have any other question? Sir, there is one question. Does it possible to uh, briefly, uh, sorry, brief shortly about trunk and access mode? Oh, okay. I'm just, uh, so I need to go to the distribution switch. Uh, and also fast ethernet. We have assigned port two to other port for VLAN one, VLAN 10, VLAN 20, VLAN 30. And for fast ethernet, you need to basically at, uh, 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 default mode is access mode, but we need to convert it trunk mode. Okay, we need to convert it trunk mode uh, for because we are using the, this uh, distribution switch as a uh, uh, different kinds of VLAN. So this is the short uh, configuration, and also the uh, trunk trunk mode. So uh, he wants to know the configuration or uh, about uh, trunk mode. Sir, actually uh, want to know about the difference, what is trunk and what is access mode. Okay, uh, trunk mode, uh, the trunk port basically used to connect between switches. Okay, sorry. Okay, let me. Uh, basically, trunk port basically used to connect between switches. However, access port is used to connect computer, laptop, printer. It is. You understand? Trunk port basically used to connect between switches because we are using this uh, VLAN 1, VLAN, uh, VLAN 10, VLAN 20, VLAN 30. So, trunk port is used to basically connect between switches. So, our, on the other hand, access port is used to connect computer, laptop, printer, etc. From this uh, uh, here, we can use fast Ethernet uh, 01 for trunk mode. Basically, this one used to uh, switching mechanism. Or on the other hand, uh, port 2 to 17 uh, is used for uh, as a access port for access uh, connect the computer, laptop, and printer. It is. I think hope you understand. Sir, uh, someone uh, needs some suggestion like. Uh, sir, I know it's not easy to configure network in CLI. For this reason, please advise how to get all CLI Cisco essential commands for practice. Please assist. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. I have already collected some uh, commands already, and I will uh, edit it and I will send you through email the basic some commands. I think you can practice it. Uh, I have all, uh, also uh, already have a soft copy. I will send you through email. And uh, basically, all for all of your participants, you need to uh, practice it. Otherwise, uh, you, you will forgotten what uh, I have done. Or if you, you want to really uh, 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 build your career in computer network, you need to regularly practice. Uh, basically, in Cisco command prompt and others also networking, uh, basically Linux or other environment. OK, any other question? No, sir. No question for today. Thank you so much, sir, for your uh, fruitful conversation or lecture. And I think many of our participants enjoy this session and they really get uh, some knowledge about this design. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. I think uh, uh, our moderator has already sent the evaluation link uh, in through your mail. Uh, uh, you can uh, uh, check and submit the form. Uh, so, Ibrahim, how much time? Because already, uh, already started, uh, Today we start uh, five minutes later at 5.20 p.m. So, okay. only five minutes goes on. Okay. Remaining so, minutes? Remaining uh, minutes, minutes from now. 15 minutes. Yes, sir. Okay, dear participants, you have only 15 minutes more from uh, now. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, uh, Orpita, uh, for uh, your nice cooperation and uh, uh, nice lecture. Uh, thank you. Okay, thank you very much, all of you. And if you have any question, you can uh, uh, 
you can send techgirl at csc.ps.h.bd. Uh, we will uh, try to answer your other question or other suggestion if you want. Okay, Ibrahim, uh, you have to mention the next final exam. Day after tomorrow. Okay, sir. Uh, we, uh, we, we will email all of our participants uh, about our uh, final exam or assessment. Okay. Our next course will be held next Friday. Dear participants who have completed your assignment, you can leave. Or if you have any question, please contact Tech Girl at the redpistu.is.bd and uh, you can also ask your question through the WhatsApp group. Thank you.